Please kneel. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, when you are in you, Jesus, when they are in you, Jesus, I'm dying, I'm not in you, I'm in you. Glory to the soul of the Lord, Jesus Christ. In all our churches throughout the whole world, and we praise you because of thy holy cross, and thy redeeming work. In the name of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's begin our praise of God in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Gathered together as a family of faith, we are once again mindful of our wrongdoing and call upon the Lord in his forgiving mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to build a contract. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us back to yourself. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sit at the right hand of the Father interceding for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us give glory to God as we give you faith. Glory. Glory to God in Christ, on earth, peace to the people of the world. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, the heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only the God, Lord God, Man of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes, and holding palm branches in their hands. And they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes? And where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, 
These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Response to Oriel's song. Lord, this is the people that come to see your face. Lord, this is the people that come to see your face. The, Lord, the, the Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, Lord this is the people that long to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the, of the Lord? Or who can stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, Lord, this is the people that want to see your face. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet, so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that we did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do not know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The gospel. Of the Lord. Amen. 
today, All Saints Day. What is it all about? What part does it play in our lives as Catholics and other Christians? All Saints Day is a day when we honor the memories of those long before us that have lived lives closely following Christian morals and values. A saint is defined as a person who is recognized as possessing an exceptional degree of holiness or likeness of God or sanctity or virgin or a closeness to God. The Apostle Paul called the Christians of the rank saints. And as you read history, you know that there was an uprising in the church where many different cults were being sold. People were lying, cheating, deceitful, backstabbed, murdered, adulterers, and so on. Some of you our society today. But yet, Paul called them saints because of their ability and potential to become saints. So all you, and everyone in this church, everyone who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior, has the potential to become a saint. And that's what we are all called to become. We are called to live lives better each day. Because hopefully we are still studying and still trying to reveal the secrets that are held in the Bible. The secrets that we don't know about. And yet we have to look back and say that there are some saints in our lives who have brought us thus far. The ones who have nurtured us and admonished us and encouraged us to remain in the Lord, to be servants of God, to love others as Jesus has loved us. To protect the rights of those who cannot defend themselves and save the children. The children. We are protectors of the church. We are protectors of each other. We are protectors of the religious values that we have come to know and understand. We ought to become saints. At least that's what we ought to strive for each day. Knowing that God and Jesus has been merciful to us. All of the things and possessions that we have accomplished was permitted by God, was granted to us by God. They are gifts. Our gifts. And our talents and our treasures are to be shared with us. In Paul's writing, he reminds us that we are children of God, called to be saints. Our sainthood, our All Saints Day that we celebrate today, should be something that we cherish and love to do. Just look around. See the different pictures and sculptures that we have. Some we don't know. As we enter the church and look to go and see those who have lived lives, serving God and others. Look around you and see. And if you notice one thing, you don't usually see them at eye level. 
We have to look up to it. Such is what God is asking us to do. Look up at them. Then look beyond them to heaven, from which all of your blessings come. And today, be thankful for all of the saints that have sacrificed so much that we may still have the right to come to this church and ask God for forgiveness, not only for their sins, but for our sins. You see, even though you are a saint, does not mean that you are sinless. It means that you have attempted and most probably been successful in following God and the word of Jesus as closely as we possibly can. As you and I sat on the road or still travel the road, trying to be closer to Jesus and following the Beatitudes down to that sites. Remember one thing. God is still the God that first brought us into creation. And when we leave this world, hopefully we will have done our part of choosing the road to success, to the success, success of becoming a saint. May the peace of Christ be with you. And let us now profess our faith and trust in the God who calls us to work as we pray like this. I believe in one God, the Father of all minds, maker of heaven, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, unsubstantial to God. For him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was his glory to the earth, and he made him. For our sins he was crucified and punished his body. He sat to death in his spirit, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge him. And this kingdom of the high home. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken to the Christ. I believe in one and only Catholic Mass by the Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the Lord. As all the saints throughout history have entrusted their lives and desire to the Lord, so too we bring our petitions before the one from whom our salvation comes. For the church universal, that its multitude of holy saints may increase with each passing day, we pray to the Lord. For those in authority and for the elections that empower them, that the service to which they are called may be fulfilled with humility, grace, and a love for all. We pray to God. Lord, we have prayers. For those suffering from disease and those losing loved ones such sickness, that they may find healing, relief, and peace. We pray to God. Lord, we have prayers. For those working to end disease through medical research, that their labors may be fruitful and their methods sound. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we For an increase in vocation to the priesthood, deaconate, and religious life, that the people may receive the guidance they deserve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we have 
For those who have done, especially Rita Norris, Naomi Ward, Annie Jefferson, Melvin Rogers, Satan Keith, Irene Smith, Cordy McRoy, and James G. May they have eternal rest, we pray to the Lord. Lord Please add your own intentions. For all our children and all those who have started to stand here, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we have prayers for the imposing of the Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread you offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hand. You become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine you offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. You become our spiritual bread. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty God. May the Lord assist us in our Christ be the May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality. So we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city. The heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon us upon those exalted members of the church, through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels. As with one voice of praise, we have prayed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in Christ. We give you praise, Father Most Holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed us in your own image and entrusted the whole world to our care, so that in serving you alone, Creator, we might have dominion over all creatures. 
And when through disobedience we have lost your friendship, you did not abandon us to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered us covenants, and through the prophets taught us to look forward to salvation. And you sold out the world, Father most holy, and in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners' freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit to the Father as the first fruit for those who believe, that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the whole. Therefore, Lord, we pray, may the same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery which he himself left us as an <clears throat> eternal covenant. But when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you can eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you are gone. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, a sacrifice acceptable to you which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that together in one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice of Christ, to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis our Pope, Francis our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the day whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant a merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Joseph, your spouse, and with your apostles and all the saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, free from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you in Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the sacred command, all of mind, we dare to say, Our God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. And let us call upon one another on the sign of this peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to the supper of the Lamb. Just a reminder to come forward for communion if you need your hand sanitized, you should actually have it sanitized when you put your hands forward. And let us pray. As we adore you, O God, you alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints. We implore your grace so that, coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I quickly they go by, but we are in another month. And so let's recognize the birthdays and wedding anniversaries. For those with a birthday during the month of November, please come forward for a special blessing. It's a birthday in the month of November. God of all creation, we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life. Hear the prayers of your servants who recall the day the day of their birth, and rejoice in your gifts of life and love, family and friends. Bless them with your presence and surround them with your love, that they may enjoy many happy years of them, all of them is you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Happy birthday to you, first. <laughs> Join them in their joy, we join them also in their gratitude. 
God has sent them among us as a sign of his love through the years they have remained faithful and fulfilled responsibilities as parents. Let's give thanks for all the strengths they have received during their married life. May God keep them in their love for each other so they may be more and more in one mind and one heart. Amen. Amen. Just uh, another uh, announcement that we have uh, that not only uh, if you have not, not already voted, please do so on uh, Tuesday, November 3rd. This is an important election. We need everyone to accept their right and responsibility to vote. So that's voting on November 3rd, of course, Tuesday. Also, with the standard time returning, the Wednesday Mass will now be at 4 o'clock in the afternoon instead of 5 o'clock. So our Wednesday Mass is now at 4 with the standard time. Next weekend, we will uh, celebrate the funeral anointing of the sick at the Masses. So any Catholic who has a chronic or serious illness is welcome to receive the sacrament. However, do not come if we have the coronavirus. <laughs> Just give me a call then and talk about you. <laughs> Finally, the ladies on the Peter Clay will have a presentation to make. Mm -hmm. Good morning, church. I have one this morning. Oh, really really but I have not been able to come to my mother's meal. Ah, can I have the ladies' auxiliary to stand up for a minute? Because I want my ladies to be recognized. When KFC ladies' auxiliary have a junior daughter that is extremely outstanding, we love to recognize them. But by, by letting their parents, their church family, and their friends, know how special that young lady is to us. Today, with our grand lady, Lady Bonnie Arnold, we would like to recognize one of our junior daughters. She actually made the Hong Kong court at Washington. She was a Miss Football sweetheart. So today, we would like to recognize Katherine Jackson. She is a graduating senior from Washington, and we are so proud of her. This mass is ended. Let us go in peace, serving God by the everyday examples of our lives. Thank you. Thank you.